वेरी वॉम ग्रीटिंग्स टू माई लवली स्टार्स ऑफ ग्रेड थ्री वी हैज स्टार्टेड ऑफ विद दिस स्टोरी ऑफ एलिस इन वंडरलैंड एंड टूडे वी कंटिन्यू दिस स्टोरी हियर वी गो नाउ वी हैज सीन हाउ एलिस आफ्टर ईटिंग द केक शी हैड ग्रोन क्वाइट टॉल एंड हर हाइट वॉज नाइन फीट टॉल सो यू कैन लुक you can see how odd she looks with being so tall okay now she starts crying again because she is a small girl obviously uh, being small one advantage of being small is you can cry at very uh, on we can you you can always cry if some things go wrong at very small things you can start crying so because she is also small like you she also starts crying see she has grown so tall that she is touching the roof of that place okay now let's see let's start on i should be ashamed of myself a big girl like me is crying in this manner i should stop immediately now she herself realized that she must be now stopping because now she has grown quite big and big girls are not supposed to cry so she is telling to herself to stop immediately because now she, that she is ashamed of herself and that she should not cry now and just then she sees the rabbit running again and she wants to talk to him she is knel she is kneeling down see she is on her knees okay and when she starts talking to the rabbit if you please sir she wanted to ask something but the rabbit does not listen to her and keeps on talking to himself oh the duchess the duchess won't she be savage if i keep her waiting now the meaning of duchess is queen okay the meaning of duchess is queen and now uh, the rabbit is revealing that uh, he is getting late to uh, reach uh, the queen of some land and won't she be savage means angry obviously the queen will be angry if the rabbit makes her to wait for long and the rabbit does not stop to talk to her see he is running now again she talks to herself she has taken this hand fan you can see in her hand and she is talking to herself again dear dear how queer everything is today and yesterday things went on just as usual i wonder if i have been changed in the night let me think was i the same when i got up this morning i almost think i can remember feeling a little different but if i am not the same the next question is who in the world am i ah oh, that's the great puzzle mrs is talking to herself she is telling that till yesterday everything was going on as usual things were very very much normal like she was a little girl she had a sister she used to uh, sit with her sister and they both used to read books and then today all of a sudden everything has changed she is growing tall either she is growing taller or she is growing smaller now queer means very strange or she is finding all the things that is changing so quickly around her to be very strange very odd and she is feeling very different you know obviously anyone in her place will be you know anxious about things that why things are changing so rapidly so quickly around her that she is not able to understand why are the things happening so you know so quickly around her and now she is really very really sad she is thinking to herself okay now see what happens next gracious 
Now she is, see, she is utterly surprised. Now all of a sudden something in her hand that she was holding, see, it grows in my hands and now I am growing small. So this thing that she was holding in her hand, uh, see, this hand fan, she was holding in her hand and all of a sudden from being the tall girl, she is growing small, see. She has started shrinking again and what she does next? That was a narrow escape. It was making me grow smaller again. I would have shrunk away altogether. And she threw this hand fan away because by the time she was holding it in her hand, she was getting smaller and smaller. And so she threw it away thinking that if I hold it any more longer she will completely uh, be shrunk okay next again now one more change she has grown smaller okay before she was normal then she grew smaller then she grew tall and again smaller and because she has grown smaller she can go into the tiny door see I have never been this small before now I can go to the garden and again she is trying to open the door but then something different has happened this time see she is standing there's a lot of water under see she's standing on a lot of water her her feet is inside the water and suddenly she slips and she falls down see she has slipped oops this is my punishment for crying so much see <laughs> can you imagine so much water of tears oh my god now i will be drowned in my own pool of tears see you can see there is so much water and she's saying that this much water has accumulated because she has cried so much this is her pool of tears these are the these are the tears tear water she is telling that way okay next now she starts swimming so much water has accumulated that now she can swim like she swims in a swimming pool a mouse oh mouse do you know the way out of this pool now again she talks to the mouse who is also swimming ahead of her okay I am very tired of swimming. He is not answering. Perhaps he understands French. Now she is only asking him and, uh, and because he is not answering, she is only answering on behalf of them then that maybe she is not, he is not able to understand English and maybe he understands French language. Okay. First she asked him that I am very tired of swimming. Can we find uh, the way out of this pool so that I want to go out of this pool? I am very tired of swimming. And then because the mouse is not answering, she only answers on behalf of him saying that maybe he is not able to understand what I am trying to tell. And uh, maybe he speaks only French and that is the reason why he understands only French. And she starts speaking to him in French. See? Au marché. Oh, I am sorry. I forgot that you are afraid of cats. Now, what is the meaning of this Auma She? See, where is my cat? Now, all of a sudden, she asks this question to this mouse. And then she says, sorry, I forgot that you are afraid of cats. Being a mouse, obviously, you are afraid of cats. But then, all of a sudden, this mouse, he answers. And see, his answer is in English. As if I would talk on such a subject. Our family always hated cats. Nasty, low, vulgar things. Don't let me hear the name again. Now, the, the mouse is speaking in English and uh, he's telling him, her, that as if uh, I would talk on such a subject, the subject of cats. Okay? He hates the cat. Okay. Our family also hated cats. 
so the mouse is telling that not only him the his whole family hated cats and he has described cats as nasty okay a nasty means unkind low low in status and vulgar things means the cats are the indecent things okay according to him they are unkind they are low and they are indecent things okay don't let me hear the name again he does not want to hear the names of the cat cats again he is so he he hates the cat so much okay now see so many animals okay duck parrot eagle mouse owl everybody is swimming along with her so many birds and this mouse they have joined alice in swimming okay let us get to the shore and then i'll tell you my history and you'll understand why it is i hate cats now the mouse is telling to her that i'll tell you the story why i hate cats but before i begin with my story let us swim to the shore so that it is able to sit on one place and be able to narrate a story with all this swimming work i won't be able to tell you my story when you'll understand why the reason i hate cats and they swim along this pool of tears and the tears are alice tears okay she is telling it is just an imaginary story okay next turn to next page see everybody has swum swam to the floor or this shore all of a sudden everything is no doors nothing so much pool so much water okay let's see finally <coughs> we reached the shore what a bizarre looking lot we are now everybody has swum swam to the shore and she only remarks that indeed we are looking very strange bizarre looking lot means we are looking this whole group the crab is also there this group the whole group that has swam to the shore is very strange okay that's it we have come to the end of the lesson okay a quick recap of what we have learned through this story you can see this is a small girl alice she was sitting under the tree feeling bored suddenly she finds a rabbit running and he is telling that he is getting late to reach somewhere she follows him inside this rabbit hole and following him inside the tunnel she falls down okay and she falls on the heap of the leaves again she gets up and follows the rabbit and then she follows him then again she finds this all doors okay she wants to get inside this small door then she finds a small key on the table and with that key she opens the tiny door the tiniest door and she peeps inside the door she sees a beautiful garden but because of her size she is not able to get inside the tiny door then she drinks a juice from the bottle and after drinking that juice she becomes very tiny that she is able to get inside the door but because the door is locked and she has forgot the key on the top of the table she tries to get the key but then again it is impossible for her to reach the top of the table because her size has shrunk and the table has become very huge compared to her size then she eats a cake and by eating the cake she has uh grown very tall probably 9 feet tall and when she is trying to talk to the rabbit she holds a hand fan in her hand and just by holding the hand fan in her hand she again shrinks in size and she is able to get in inside the uh green uh, tiny door green door but then all of a sudden she slips and falls into her own pool of tears and she sw starts swimming after a mouse she tries talking to him 
thinking that he might be he may uh, may be able to help her but then she realizes that maybe he understands only french she starts speaking to him in french but then the mouse replies to her in english telling her that he is uh, uh, he hates cat and he also wants to tell her his story why he the, the hates cat but before that he advises her to swim let us uh, swim to the shore and after reaching the shore she remarks alice remarks that indeed the whole group that we have come on the shore we are looking very strange okay it is just a fictitious tale the story tells us uh one good uh, you know uh, one good quality the story teaches us that uh, being brave and managing things like alice how she managed throughout the story on her own she didn't have her elder sister or any elders to help her she didn't have her parents around her she has been brave and she has been managing all the things on her own and plus she had this very good quality of facing the circumstances alone come what may be her size getting big or getting small be getting tall or shrug being you know all shrunk up but she has faced the circumstances all alone the story is full of imagination nothing of the you know uh, the it's not based on reality it's just an imaginary story full of imagination it's a creativity or an imagination what you see, what you were whatever you say it is just an imaginary story okay happy reading go through the lesson it's really very nice okay happy reading